Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I want to focus about something that is maybe not entirely new to DSM-7, but is completely revamped and greatly improved in DSM-7. And I'm talking about two-factor authentication. Now, two-factor authentication is rapidly becoming a necessity that I recommend that you enable on everything that you can enable it. I recommend that you enable it on your Amazon account, on your PayPal account, and also on your Synology devices. Synology is giving us two options to choose from. One is a complete passwordless authentication where you only need your username and your second factor, or a pure second factor authentication where you need a username and password and then a second factor to authenticate. And honestly, whichever one of them that you choose will be a great improve to your security because in the security world, a second factor authentication is always considered stronger than a password that can be brute forced, it can be guessed, it can be fished out of you without you even noticing. And a second factor authentication is an intention based authentication where you only get a prompt on your phone to approve a sign in when you know that you were the one to initiate the process. So we will configure a pure passwordless authentication in this video. But if you think that only enabling a second factor authentication will be uh, uh, the ultimate uh, secure way and you don't need anything else, then you are wrong. Because some things, sometimes things can go wrong, something in the app can uh, go uh, corrupt and you don't get the prompt to approve the sign-in. Maybe you are in, a, uh, in an area where you don't have cellular coverage, so the phone doesn't even know it doesn't even get uh, the sign-in requests, so you might have to revert back to use a password to authenticate. And in this case, you need to make sure all the password hardening options are in place. For example, using a strong password, you setting a password expiration interval, enabling the autoblock feature, everything that you can harden for the password settings as if you are not using a second factor at all. So when you do need to revert back to using a password, it's hardened as much as it can be. So let's walk over to the computer and start configuring stuff. Join me. All right, so we are at the computer and as I said, we have to enable two-factor authentication, but even before that, we will have to spend just a minute or two on strengthening the security of our, of our device in regards to the regular password usage. And there's an excellent knowledge base article that I will give the link in the description of this video that specifies a few basic things that uh, we must verify that are enabled in our NAS. So let's jump over to the NAS and start configuring them. Let's just log in. As you can see right now, it's just on my, on my Synology device, I only have a, a regular password uh, authentication. Let's jump over to the control panel, to users uh, and groups. Go to the advanced tab right here and make sure you configure password strength rules, crank it up to whatever you think is more, uh, uh, more than reasonable. Uh, uh, crank it up, for, uh, I, would, I would say from 8 to 16. Uh, uh, go over to the password expiration, make sure password expiration is enabled for at least 30 days. You know what, you can even go with 90 days, just have password expiration going. That's, uh, uh, that's critical. Click on apply and uh, 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 one last thing we need to do is to go over to this security tab right here and to the protection tab and make sure enable autoblock is also enabled. This is what we can do in order to harden the password settings uh, of our Synology device to make sure that if we need to fall back to a password based authentication, we will have a strong password that we will need to, uh, to replace every X amount of days. And if someone tries to brute force into our device, he will be blocked 
uh, after five failed login attempts. So, uh, as I told you, we will set this, uh, these settings as if we are not using uh, two-factor authentication at all. Okay, so with this out of the way, we can close out this window right here and go right over uh, to configure the two-factor authentication settings that are hidden right here and uh, go to personal, scroll down just a little bit and as you can see, you have uh, the two-factor authentication options. One is complete passwordless sign-in, which we will configure right here and pure uh, two-factor authentication, that means username, password and uh, 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 a second factor like a phone to approve the signing. We are going to configure the passwordless signing, but whichever one you use uh, uh, will be an increase in your security. So let's go right ahead to passwordless signing and I want to use the approved signing with a, uh, uh, with a Synology uh, app that I will show on my phone where to download. I'm going to have to give it my current password. And as you can see, we have some sort of a guidance uh, um, to set this up. Let's click on next. And now it's telling us to go and download uh, the app for iOS or for Android. If you click on the link, by the way, it will take you to the Play Store and you can click on install right here and it will install it on your phone or you can go over to the phone and download it from the Play Store. I already have uh, the, uh, the app installed on my phone, but I will show it nonetheless. Let's click on Next. And this is where we will be presented with a QR code. By the way, you can see that it, uh, uh, by default, it takes us uh, uh, to the Quick Connect address of our device. So let me jump over to my phone and bring up the footage there. All right. So I'm going to launch the Play Store and I can search for Synology Secure and it already found the app. This is the app that you want to install on your phone. Let's click on open because I already have it installed. And now we need to scan the QR code. So let's click on the plus button on the top right corner of our application. And let's go ahead and scan the QR code. Let's give it a minute or two. All right, so we have the app attached to the uh, to FA service. And as you can see, we have the all set uh, confirmation right here. So actually at this point, we have already set uh, the passwordless sign in. All we have to do right now is test it. Let's go ahead and sign out. And let's now try to sign in and see if we get prompted for a, a 2FA. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the username. And indeed, we have to approve the sign in, as you can see. And I got a prompt on my phone. Secure sign in. I need to approve the sign in on my Synology app. And I'm now logged in to my Synology device without ever uh, entering a password. So that's great in that regard. But as I said, there's always a chance of something going wrong and we have maybe the app not presenting the, uh, uh, the authentication request or maybe we are in an area without cellular coverage so we can't even use the app. And in this case, we will need to revert to uh, uh, using the password authentication let's sign out and try to sign in again and we'll see how to revert to to again using a password okay try to sign in and now i won't be able let's say i won't be able to approve this sign in i will click on this link other sign in methods enter a password and this is how i can revert back to using my password for authentication and as you can see, we are now logged in as if we are not using 2FA at all. This is how we revert back to our methods. And one thing that I can give you a, a heads up on, I, can, I saw that in some phones that are more modern, with a, a more modern uh, Android version, some apps that are not frequently used can go into deep sleep 
or something like this, some sort of an hibernation. So if this happens to you, you won't even know it. You will try to log in to your Synology device and there will nothing popping up on your phone. That's because the phone has decided to put it after a certain amount of uh, uh, not using it to a, a, a deep sleep. You will have to manually enter the app and then you will probably see uh, the authentication pop up uh, to approve. Just keep using it uh, like for, for uh, in a matter of speaking, exercise the app so the phone will realize uh, to take it out of deep sleep. If it happens to you, this is uh, something that I have noticed uh, to happen every once in a while. So this is how you configure 2FA on Synology DSM-7. Out of the two options, we chose passwordless signing. I think it's the most convenient. If you like this video, please give it a like. It will really help, uh, it will really help me with the uh, YouTube algorithm. And of course, subscribe and join our Facebook group. The link will be in the uh, description of the video. And I will see you all guys in the next video. Bye bye.